welcome again welcome again my viewers my friends my subscribers first timers welcome to this channel life with Jennifer JM it's I'm your girl Jennifer and I'm just here once again with another quick update and the Philip well Philip Paulwell saga but before I get into the saga um, let me let me extend my apology for the poor quality of the video below where there was a section that is override by a previous video that I have done somebody message a lot of people message saying they're not hearing well but it's just that little section but if you listen clearly you will understand what it is it was a voice it was an interview with a lady who claimed to be Leoda Bradshaw that's the accused in the disappearance and you know the old saga with the baby baby mother one baby baby mother two who and our baby was you know the story so this lady came on and was speaking about and she was pointing all the fingers at Mr. Philip Paulwell and then I examined what she was saying and I realized that a lot of it did not make any sense a lot of it did not make any sense my viewers and my subscriber so that's why I share it and then I break it down analyzes it and um and I and for most of the persons who watch it I see that you understand you know it make me feel good to do videos and see that when I put them forward persons understanding that it is coming from a place of understanding it is coming from a place of understanding and our suspicion not realizing now that this woman who came out saying she was her mother it is now proven that she's also lying that she is the mother of Bradshaw So if she come out saying she's our mother, there's, that means nothing you said, lady. Nothing you say. It's true. You're not her mom. You're not her biological mom. And you should have came out and stated that. Maybe she take you as a mother figure. Somebody who she can fight with. Somebody maybe when she having struggles and situation. And you know you have that little person that you can just go to and speak with and things like that. But you come out declaring that I am Leo, Leoda's mom. You are not Leoda's mom. And my viewers and my friend, whenever I speak something, I, I, I and if, if, it, if it's a case that she can't prove that she is a mother, then I will come back and I will publicly apologize. But I'm going to play a clip for you and you will hear what this person has to say because he saw the video and he made sure he did an inquiry and when he did an inquiry he realizes that what was said the person claiming to be what they are not was not so my viewers and my subscriber take a listen to this clip say she is the mother of the accused Leona Bradshaw that um, is in custody not in charge of the murder of Bradford Paul Wells or the baby mother and daughter that situation that is uh, playing out all across social media and um, all across the island. Well, through a little bit of digging and information coming to me, Leona Bradshaw's parents, mother and father, are deceased. They're dead. So the question arises, what is going on here? Is Leona Bradshaw attempting to implicate Philip Paulwell from behind bars? And who's helping her with this? This song is not over. It appears it's just gathering legs. But it does explain why, well after 48, 48 hours, she's not yet charged. Here you have it, my viewers and my subscriber hearing for yourself from someone else voice that upon inquiry 
the accused parents is now deceased. So I don't know what much that lady can come forth again and speak that anybody want to listen. She may have some truth in her, some little way down in her one little thing there, but that's it. Also, let me brief you on the present situation. Leoda, who is now in the halfway tree, locked up. She's putting her cell by herself. And she's not doing well, my viewers and subscribers. I know what you're all going to say when you hear this. But she hasn't been eating, she's not been sleeping, and she's not doing well. And they have to be watching. They are watching her carefully that she don't take her four points, my viewers. You know what I mean by that. This is telling me that conscience. You see this? Conscience. You see, sometimes when we do some things out of vexation and anger, it's a different spirit that is operating when us. It's when we come back to that consciousness of us and look into what we have done, we say to ourselves, my God, what have I really done? What have I really done? And when you can come to terms with what you do, and that is what is happening to her right at this time, my viewers and my subscribers. Also, I did a little investigation to ask how Mr. Paulwell was doing and then because some person is saying he's not coming out to say anything and he's quiet, my viewers and my subscriber, and this is solid, this is solid, he is not doing well either. He's not eating well, he's not sleeping well either and the person who saw him said he lose about 30 pounds. I don't know if they are exaggerating or what it is. I haven't seen him for myself. I haven't seen a picture but this is the report that is coming that he's not doing well. He's not doing well. And on the surface where we are saying that he's not getting any support from his colleague. They are doing it in private. That's what I understand. Because for the mere fact that he's going through all of this they are there to support him in private. So they are trying to do everything privately because right at this time, he's not in the right frame of mind to really to come to say anything and because it's under police investigation and all of these things that is happening, that's the reason why everybody is keeping silent at this time. Everybody is hurt, everybody is traumatized and it's not going down well with either of the two personnel that everybody's eyes are fastening up on. And I say, you know what? Let us continue to follow this saga and see the end result. And as soon as I get updates, I will always come and let you hear what is happening to keep you up to date with everything. So for now, the main thing is that this lady that came out and said that she was the accused mother, she is not her biological mom. She is not the biological mother of the accuser in this incident. She is not. So she need to come out and to address that and let the public know if she is biological or she's a surrogate or she's an adopted or what type of mother she is but she's not the biological mother of Leona Bradshaw thanks again my viewers my friend my new time subscriber thank you for the support and we will keep the conversation going I'll catch you again in another video See you.